is number 25. So this is Christmas Day's box. I've got high hopes, but it's very light, so I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another advent calendar unboxing, and I recently unboxed both the Zoella um, Cosmo or Wish Upon a Star gift box. I will link that video above in case you haven't seen it and you are interested in Zoella Beauty and her Christmas range this year. Um, I'm also going to be unboxing the Big Cracker and there's going to be a giveaway coming soon which I'm so so excited about but today we're actually unboxing the second advent calendar from the Body Shop. I recently unboxed the first one, the massive Big Freddy Fox one, again I'll link that above and you guys seemed to really enjoy that video and you were really interacting in the comments and it was so so nice. I replied to every comment that I get so don't forget to say hey, let me know what you think about this one today which is the middle range body shop advent calendar. I asked in the last video would you like me to pick up this one and a lot of you said yeah, a lot of you were really interested in seeing what is inside this advent calendar and I'm just going to get started and show you every single box. So packaging wise, absolutely beautiful, again woodland animal kind of theme, we have the deer here, I'm not quite sure of the name, I know the fox one was called Freddy Fox and the owl one is called Olivia, not too sure on the deer but I'll link it down below for you guys but it's this beautiful marine packaging, really really lovely and the box opens up very similar to the last one I did and reveals all of these gorgeous little doors in here. Now this is significantly smaller and lighter, what we have to consider is this one was only £65 in comparison. The contents are meant to be worth over 120 or 120 thereabouts, so I'm really excited to see if it's as good value for money as the first one was that I unboxed. So we're going to be going through all of it today, and yeah, packaging is beautiful. I'm going to read you what it says on the side of the advent calendar, because I didn't do that in my last video. It says, the Enchanted Beauty Calendar, welcome to the Enchanted Forest and meets our clan of extraordinary creatures. Inside you'll find 25 surprises that will revive and re-energize your body and mind because spending time in natural untamed spaces grounds us and makes us feel more alive. Every day we'll set you a small fun task to make the world a better place. It's what we have strived to do every single day since Anna Roddick founded the Body Shop in 1976. So I'm just going to get started and find door number one and I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, so door number one is this gorgeous little box. There's, there's a little bear on the side and this one says, create adventure, plan a wild trip with your best friend. And inside we have a peppermint candy cane body wash um, or shower gel. I love the scent of this candy cane range. I actually picked up the little gift set to include in my Christmas gift guide, which will be coming up a bit later on actually. Um, I won't probably launch that until November time um, because I think that's when majority of the people start their shopping, although I am an early bird and I have totally started. Let me know if you would like to see that earlier or later in the comments box down below. But yes, this is the peppermint candy cane shower gel. I haven't actually sniffed this yet despite buying the set. So this is going to be a very new experience for me. That smells wonderful. I really love peppermint and minty scents in general and that just smells so sharp but sweet. It smells exactly like mints and candy cane. It just is really authentic. I really do like that. Again, decent size at 60ml. Very, very happy with door number one. And apparently, if you put these back, they're meant to create a puzzle on the other side. I didn't know that, but someone pointed it out in my last video. If I'm not lazy enough, I'll try and do that at some point. Okay, so door number two is a slightly chunkier box, and this is just so sweet. I love the little critters on the front. I think it's so gorgeous. This one says, meditate in nature, unwind your busy week with 10 minutes of gentle breathing. And we have the mango body butter. I'm quite surprised to find a mango scent in a Christmas advent calendar. I wouldn't really associate the scent of mango with Christmas time, autumn or winter for that matter. Um, so I'm surprised at that, but I haven't actually tried anything from the mango range and I do love the scent of mango, so, you know, that's fine. Beautiful mango authentic scent. I think we did actually get a mango hand cream in the last one, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't mind in a hand cream so much, but body wise I do prefer the more spicy um, kind of scents, but I do love the smell of mango and that's a decent size of 50ml, so happy to get that. So number three is this beautiful little longer box and on the side this says grow your own, plant a window box with herbs to please your planet and your palate. Love that. I already do that. I grow my own herbs in the garden. I love all that stuff. And in this we have a white musk body lotion. Again, 60ml. I haven't, I don't think I've actually tried the white musk range. 
yeah, it's okay. It's not really a scent that's for me. I don't, I'm not overly psyched by this. I will use it, but the white musk scent is just not really for me. But nice size, and that is behind box number three. Um, this is box number four, slightly longer, slightly thinner. I hope this isn't a nail file. I have a feeling because it's quite flat, it's going to be a nail file, and I don't use them, so it'd be a bit of a waste for me. I think it is. Yeah, it's a nail file. I'm not overly psyched to get nail files in advent calendars no matter what. I think they come in the family of loofers and just like things like that that I just don't really use. I mean, I've never used nail files. I think it's nice that it's a decent size, but I feel like I won't use it. But you know, if you do file your nails, I suppose that could be quite useful for you. But I'm not psyched to buy that. Um, and yeah, that was behind door number four. Okay, so number five is so cute. It has this little froggy on the box. It's just so and so nice. This one says, save water, cut your shower time down to one epic song. Um, the next one we have is a Body Shop Strawberry Shower Gel. Again, I don't think a strawberry scent is something I would quite associate with autumn and winter time, but I don't mind it. I love the scent of strawberry, so it will get used. Um, so I'm not too fussed about that. It does smell gorgeous. It smells so, so nice. So yeah, happy to have that. And again, that is the Strawberry Shower Gel in the 60ml. By the way, I am doing skip ahead down below if you want to have a look and skip intros and see what's behind each door and where each door comes. I'm going to link that down below in case it's interested for anybody. So door number six is slightly smaller, but it's quite heavy, so promising. And this one says, a throwback Thursday, post a photo of your wildest adventure. Um, the next thing we have is a coconut bath bubble. I haven't tried any of these before. I'm excited about these. I'm hoping that... They're just as good as the Lush Little Fizzers. Um, it's quite small, it's only 28 grams. Uh, I think I've been spoiled up with big Lush bath bombs and bubble bars and that kind of thing, so this looks a little bit um, small for me. But, you know, I I'm sure I'll love the scent. I love the scent of coconut. Again, not really a scent I would have put in an advent calendar just because it's coconutty, it's quite tropical. But I am excited to try that and I do love the scent of coconut. So yeah, that was behind door number six. Door number seven is, yep, yeah, and this is slightly bigger and again slightly heavier, so this one says, don't waste, ditch disposable cups for a mug and water bottle, and it's a beautiful design on this one, it's this gorgeous little blue caterpillar, it kind of reminds me of the Alice in Wonderland caterpillar that's smoking on the mushroom. I love that film so much. And behind this box we have the Body Shot Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I really do like this. I've been using the Chamomile range for a number of years now. I actually did a little unboxing slash review when I started using it years ago when I spoke about each product individually. Um, I'll link that above in case any of you guys want to get more familiar with that range. But it's so good. Really do enjoy it. And I think this is such a handy size for weekends away, travelling. So I'm really happy to get that. Um, I have 120 mil now because I got one in the last one, but I'm not complaining because it's a product that I do use on the regular. Number eight is this gorgeous little snail. Honestly, these boxes are so, so nice. And we have another little bath visit, and this is the green tea bath bomb. I'm excited to try them. As I said, I haven't tried these before, but I know that they sell out a lot online, so I'm guessing that they are quite popular. So I'm intrigued about those. Actually, I can smell that through the box, and that smells... That smells delicious. I'm really excited about the green tea one. I love green tea. A slightly bigger one. Again, I'm excited. Um, it's quite light though, so we'll see. This one says, pick a potted Christmas tree this year. You can plant it on New Year's Day. I'm gonna be doing that this year. It's gonna be the first year, as I mentioned in my last video, that we're gonna be having a real tree. I'm so excited about that, and I am going to repot it on New Year's Day. I love this one. This is an almond milk and honey sensitive dry hands calming and protecting hand cream in 30ml. I really love the scent of the almond milk and honey. I think it's such a comforting, relaxing and just delightful scent in general and I love the hand creams. They're super nourishing but they seep in quite quickly. The gripe I have with a lot of hand creams is they can become quite greasy and then you put the one in the morning, you go in your car and you're driving and it's just not great and your wheel just becomes so sticky. These don't do that. They're really comfortable and they seep in super fast and just leave hydration and suppleness. So I'm excited about that. I really do love the scent of the almond milk and honey. So really happy to get that in box number nine. So box number 10 is a bit of a chunky monkey and we have a little owl. This actually looks like Olivia the owl that features on the cheaper advent calendar. Um, 
and this one says wrap gifts like an eco warrior with old magazines, new papers and colourful fabrics. If you watch my last video you'll be familiar with all of these little tips because most of them, I think all of them so far have come, they're all the same which I don't mind because they are fantastic tips. It would have been nice to see different ones though but anyway this is another body lotion and this is a gel lotion that sounds intriguing and this is again in the pink grapefruit. It's not a scent, again, that I would have chosen myself to put in a Christmas box. I think grapefruit is quite tropical, but I do like my citrus scents and I do like grapefruit. So again, I'm not too bummed by it. And it is a nice way for me to choose scents that I wouldn't normally go into the body shop and try. So in that sense, it's great for me to get the strawberry and the grapefruit and the mango because they're not a scents that I would go in and pick up myself. So that just smells absolutely delicious really really lovely nice little soft pinky peach bottle I really do like that and again I think it's going to be a great way to test out loads of different products from the body shop that wouldn't have been on my radar otherwise okay so number 11 is quite light um, and this little guy on here reminds me of Pumba from the Lion King which is adorable <laughs> um, so this one says share the love for animals by posting a selfie with our animal headband I'm guessing this might be a headband no it's not that's a bit bizarre. I would have thought that would have been a headband, but it's actually a little loofah. Again, I'm not always psyched to get these, and this one is quite small, but I use them, so I can't complain too much. I do, I do in fact use them, and they're great for like exfoliating the skin, but in a really gentle way. Um, so yeah, not overly psyched by it, but I'm happy. And I like the fact that it's a nice festive red colour. So that was behind box number 11. Box number 12 is a slightly thinner box. Uh, again, this is quite light. It says, donate and feel great. Support a charity that loves your spirit animal. And in here we have, oh, it's a makeup product. And this is a liquid eyeliner. I think that that is a three mil. I'm pretty sure that's a full size. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might not be. Um, but it looks like it, it is a full size for a liquid eyeliner because I know they tend to come quite small packages. Um, but it might not be, so I'm not too sure. I'll put down below whether things were full size or what size they were so you guys can kind of tally up the value and see what you think. But that is in the black colour. I will use it. I do like myself a liquid eyeliner from time to time. So yeah, I'm happy to have that in door or box number 12. So this is box number 13 and I have a feeling this will be a makeup product as well just because I can hear something rattling around in there. It kind of sounds like a lip or eyeliner. And we have a lip liner. This is one of the lip definers and it's in the shade Hot Date. I really like the colour of this lip liner and I really do like the Body Shop lip liners in general. They are so, so good for the money. You have to try them if you haven't already because they're really, really nice. This looks like a really nice festive berry red colour which I think would be perfect for this time of year. So I'm happy to get that for sure. I think it will look really nice. I'm hoping there might be a lipstick in here that goes with that. I think that would be a really lovely kind of addition if we can get a lipstick that that would work nicely with. I think that would be lovely. So yeah, that is number 13. is this really cute little box with a little hedgehog. Layla loves hedgehogs. She will love this box. It just looks so cute. It says, love nature. Pick up litter on a walk in your favourite wild spot. We do that all the time. I always have this rule that if I go out walking in nature, I'll try and pick up a little bits of rubbish where I can and dispose of it. I think it's so important, especially in parks and where children go to play. I just don't get people that litter. I don't get it. Like, why do people do it? But anyway, this is a really decent size 50ml of the British Rose Exfoliating Gel Body Scrub. I love the scent of this British Rose range. It's so nice. If you like the scent of Rose, but not in a mature, powdery, old person kind of way, you like it in a really dark, rich, sexy, sweet but strong kind of way, you will appreciate this range for sure because it's so nicely scented, it's so different for the body shop and I really like that. So the fact that we have a nice 50ml, I think that is a really decent size. I don't think it's a full size, but it's a decent size so I'm happy to have that. So 15 is quite a small little dinky box um, and this one says, go veggie today, try eating a meat free meal once a week. And this is, I think it's going to be a lip balm, if I can get it out. Yes, we have a Born Lippy Lip Balm in the strawberry scent. Again, I'm not 
I'm not fussed by strawberry scents in the autumn winter, but I'm hoping that this one smells lovely. That smells really similar to the lip balm that every kid had if you were born in like the 80s to the 90s. Those little blue and red lip balms, I can't remember the name of them, but that smells exactly like this. Delicious, so I'm happy to have that. So 60 is quite a big one. I have high hopes for this because it's heavy as well. So we have a little badger, again really really sweet, and this says nurture nature, volunteer for a day in your local green space. And in here we have another almond milk and honey product, and this is the sensitive to dry skin body butter. Again, really happy to get stuff from the almond milk and honey range because it's such a lovely scent. I can't even tell you. It's just so, again, comforting is the only way I can describe it. Really cosy, just really lovely scent for all year round. I think a lot of people will like this range in particular and I'm really happy about that. That's 50 mil as well, so a decent size. Um, body butter there. 17 is quite a long one. I anticipate this to be maybe a makeup product, not too sure. Um, but this one says, enrich the herb, start a compost heap out of your veggie scraps. I am like the compost warrior. I'm, I really take my recycling seriously, as I said in my last video. The amount of like stuff that I try to make into other things is crazy. But this is a makeup brush and this is a brow brush. It kind of has like a, a comb on one end and a brush on the other. I'm not overly impressed by these. I, I do use them, but I'm not psyched by them. I would have preferred something else like a liner or a, another lip shade um, of lip crayon or lip liner. But it's there. If you guys do use these things, I suppose it is quite useful to have. But it doesn't rock my world. 18 was kind of tucked away. And this one says, feed the birds. Their presence helps the world and your well-being. Whenever I think of feeding the birds, it always reminds me of Mary Poppins. Who else is so excited to see the new Mary Poppins this Christmas? I know Emily Blunt is playing Mary and I'm so excited, but I really hope that it does it justice because it's such a classic. But anyway, in this one we have another hand cream and this is the Shea hand cream. The Shea is a really nice range. I would say it's probably one of the more boring scents for me just because I wouldn't go in there and buy a Shea, a Shea product just because I find them they're much more nicer scents in the body shop for me to want to go and try um, but I'm happy to get this, I did try to open it just then really subtly but I could get it open so yeah but the texture of the hand creams is just really lovely um, as I mentioned before number 19 is quite big but light so we'll see and this has this really gorgeous little bear on the side and this says get your hands dirty feeling mud and leaves and trees helps us to connect with nature I'm all about messy play, I love do you know what, I nearly said the same thing again, I love getting dirty, but that can just sound so wrong. But we have some eyelash curlers. I must be the only person on the planet that doesn't use eyelash curlers, like I just don't use them. Um, I'll probably give those to my mum because she definitely does use them, but I'm not too fussed about getting that. Um, especially on day number 19 because that's when I'll be mega excited for Christmas. I would have been a bit like, meh. Now we're getting into the important days. We're getting into the 20s, guys. It's getting serious now. So number 20, it has this gorgeous little squirrel. It's so cute. It's just really lovely. I love the illustrations. I think they've made, it's, it's just made it such a pleasure to open. And this one says, salute the sun, dedicate 10 minutes of your morning to an energy and mood boosting yoga routine. And in here, we have a mango shower gel. I think I've explained that I'm not psyched about getting mango products and um, I'm not going to go into that but that is a 60ml um, body gel in number 20. Okay so number 21 is slightly thinner so I'm guessing that this is again a makeup product um, but let's open it and find out. This one says leave the car at home, walk, run or cycle your commute instead and in here we have an eyeliner I think. Yeah, just the eye definer crayon and um, the Kohol basically. I got one of these in my last one, so it's probably going to take me a long time to get through them both. But, you know, nice little gift to get. I think a lot of people tend to experiment with more sort of smoky eyes and wings in the festive and party season. So that could be quite handy if you don't have one already. Then number 22 um, is slightly heavier. I always get excited when they're heavier. I don't really know why because it doesn't necessarily mean better. But this one says, go off the grid, sign off social media for the next 24 hours. And we have 
a strawberry soothing face mist. I love face mists. I may have mentioned it in the last body shop video that I did because I just, I really like them. Again, strawberry is not the scent I would have chosen for this time of year. I would have preferred something different in terms of the scent. Perhaps an orange because I feel like citrusy or dark orangey clementine kind of scents suit the season more so I feel like that would have been more appropriate but I am happy to get any kind of mist for the face because again I enjoy them I think they wake in your makeup up they make things last longer they add hydration and this one will smell lovely because it's strawberry so I'll just give it a bit of a spritz now because I know you can use these on top of makeup as well It's, it's gorgeous. I mean, you'd have to like the smell of strawberries to appreciate it, but it is so lovely. The mist is so fine. It's it's nice. It illuminates as well, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, that was behind 22, so I'm actually quite happy about that. Then number 23, where are you? Here you are. Um, 23 says, just add rainwater. Make a pond for the bugs, birds and the bees out of an old washing up bowl. That is so cute. I did mention that me and Layla are going to be doing that this year because I just think it's a really nice little, little thing to do for little bugsies in the garden. And this is a lipstick and this is the Tahiti Hibiscus which we got in the Freddy Fox advent. So I actually already have another one of these um, but I loved the colour. I think it's so nice. It's definitely one that I will use and that is a matte lipstick as well and I think like a nice matte lip with a winged liner. It's such a nice Christmassy look so I think a lot of people will get used out of that and appreciate it if they like the colour. If not it could be a fantastic secret Santa or stocking filler for somebody. So you know if there are things in this advent that you don't want or you don't like the scent of, you don't think you'll use, stocking fillers, secret Santas, that kind of thing. They're ideal for that and they will save you a bit of money and you'll recoup a little bit of the cost back. So that was number 23. So now we're up to 24. What am I going to be opening on Christmas Eve? Let's see. In fact, is this the 24 days of Christmas or is this 25? No, it's 25. Okay, so I was wondering then because I can't see a 25. Oh no, I can, it's right in the middle. Anyway, 24, Christmas Eve. This is a nice size, guys. I'm hoping for a full size product because apart from makeup ones, I don't think we've had a full size product yet. So let's hope, let's hope we get one in number 24. And we have, we have a full size coconut, um, Nourishing body butter. A lot of body butters going on. I would have definitely preferred a scrub or a mask. But I do, I mean, I love the scent of coconut. So I'm always going to enjoy this. I'm always going to use it. And again, you know, if you have a ton of these lying around, make a little hamper, make a little gift for someone. You know, they don't have to go to waste if you don't feel like you like them or you feel like you have a ton already and you don't really need another adding to your collection. That's just a nice way to recoup some of the cost uh, because this, this fabric calendars, you know, they are quite pricey. Um, and then the last gift is number 25. So this is Christmas Day's box. I've got high hopes, but it's very light, so I don't know. Um, but this one says, get a buzz, apply some flowers to help the bumblebees thrive. And this is a little washcloth. It is cute, don't get me wrong, it's adorable, I do like it, but I would have liked to have seen something a little bit more impressive on Christmas Day. I know in the last box we got the headband, which I guess you could say um, that's a bit gimmicky as well, but because we got a lot of full size products, I was happy to get whatever on Christmas Day at that date. Because here, majority of them have been deluxe sample sizes and smaller sizes, apart from makeup items. Um, it would have been nice to see a mask or perhaps something from the Oils of Life range, something from the Spa of the World range. I am a little bit disappointed to see nothing from the Spa of the World in this advent calendar. Um, I would have preferred less strawberry scents, less mango, less coconut and more Spa of the World, more Oils of Life, more things like that. But I have to say, all things considered, it is a lovely advent calendar and if you are a body shop fan, I think you would like it. However, I would say out of the two of them that I have unboxed, the Freddy Fox, if you can, if you can, you know, 
splurge and, and spend that little bit more, you are getting much more value for money and you're getting much more full size products. So it just depends what you want. But again, this is a perfect way for you guys to see what's in both advent calendars. Decide for yourself without having to commit and spend the money. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the contents of this box. However, I feel like that's because I've got so much in my last advent calendar that these are just nice extras to get. So that is everything inside the Body Shop advent calendar. I hope you've all enjoyed unboxing it with me today and seeing what is inside and it's giving you a clear idea of which one you would like to pick up, if any. If you would like to see me unbox the cheapest one or Olivia the Owl, which is meant to be, I think it's about £45, but it's meant to be worth around 80 comment down below, let me know. I am buying these all myself. And, um, I don't get sent these from the body shop or anything like that. I know a lot of people have been or they're funding it by putting a shit ton of ads on their video and I'm not about that. But if you would like to see that, let me know and I'll try and get that done for you. I do have more Christmassy unboxings coming your way. As I said, I have a giveaway of Zoella Christmas products coming very, very soon. I'm going to be unboxing her cracker. I have the Lush Christmas collection coming soon, hopefully, if it's not an awful like the Halloween one was, I will be picking it up. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Let's get a bit of chat going. I always love chatting and replying to you guys in the comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.